management uh, vehicle? Yes, sir. Um, Ford, we have um, Gene here this evening with Enterprise. And also, uh, before the meeting, we did uh, pass out the uh, proposed replacement worksheet. The first page, possibly two, I think includes the full fleet to be potentially replaced. Um, and then there were three proposals behind that. I believe that's correct, Gene, originally. Um, we did, Gene and I did uh, pass some discussion note from the last workshop before regarding um, the possibility of peeling the Sheriff's Department off of the fleet program and how we might treat that a little differently um, with it being a constitutional area where we replace vehicles. So I'm going to hand the floor over to Gene. I think this evening we're prepared just to show the board what the replacement proposal looks like and then um, recommendation would be to ask Gene to come back at workshop so that we can show the two different programs he's going to talk to the board about his options and then allow the board to kind of whittle that down to make a determination of how many vehicles we want to replace um, in the upcoming year. Like, yeah. That's it. That's all yeah. I think I need to add anything else. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you for having me again. Um, appreciate the opportunity. Um, great news though, since we last met, um, we were able to get your account created, got it established. Uh, we were able to assign a local team, um, and we pride ourselves on, on customer service and making sure that we can assign a local team so that every time you reach out and you communicate with us, it's not something you can't hear. You can bring it up. Thank you. Perfect. See, now I'm going to tell my wife that I'm not as loud as she says I am. So, <laughs> <laughs> do it. Um, so we were able to assign a local account team. We actually had some internal meetings. This morning we had another one, kind of briefing them on everything that Ms. McKinney and I had discussed to make sure that we have a smooth transition as we transition into the local account team. Um, we have some introductions scheduled for the next couple of weeks so that you can actually meet them in person. We like to come here and meet in person face to face versus Zoom is great, but we like to kind of, uh, you know, be able to get connections. But, um, as Ms. McKinney mentioned, there were some concerns with um, having the county and the sheriff and the one umbrella um, and the control. And we encountered this numerous times. We work with a lot of sheriff's offices. So what we can do and what we've done is internally we've created two separate accounts. So it'll be completely, completely separated. So the sheriff office will be able to sign authorized signers who they want to be able to handle. They can use their own funding. The county can do the same. Uh, billing and everything will be completely separate. Uh, reporting will be completely separate as well. And that will allow the sheriff's office to still have access to all of the enterprise resources. And really more than anything, to be able to just delegate stuff, right? So if you need a vehicle, instead of having to you know, go go and, and make phone calls and go to local dealerships, uh, you can just reach out to Enterprise, make a phone call, send an email, and say, here's what I'm looking for. Now, with that said, we value relationships. So we know that a lot of people we work with have those local relationships with dealers that they'd like to use, the TV using vendors. And we don't come in and, and try to change any of that. So we like to keep those relationships intact. And because we're not a dealer, if you want to utilize a local dealer, we can definitely keep doing that, that as well. What we do is present options. So if we present you the local dealer options, we present you a factory order option, and you make the decision. Whichever one, you can go based on the price, you can go based on the relationship, or combination of both. Um, so what we've done is we've presented a year one budget we created to give you an idea of what it would look like. Um, now the, the budget that I presented was for both the county and the sheriff's office. It showed 56 points total. Us replacing the proposed 18 vehicles, and we did that based on the region mileage. And it showed that if we replace those 18 vehicles with newer vehicles, it would it would create a savings of about $72,000 over what you have historically done. Um, and when we presented the original analysis, you were able to see what the sustainable savings would be year after year. But this is more of a year one budget. It showed that your total acquisition would be about 190,000, resell about 134 for 156,000 for the first year, but, but the savings would be about 71,000. Now, when I was informed that we were thinking about separating the sheriff's office from the county, I ran another analysis to say, okay, well, the 18 vehicles we were looking at, 
12 of them, 12 of them were, were sheriff and, and six of them were for the county. So if we just went with just the six uh, vehicles, uh, what it would do is your total year one outlay was going to be about $56,000, but we are going to salvage about $18,000 from current vehicles that we would cycle out of the fleet with their resale values. So year one total was about $37,000. But with that said, um, this information I'm showing you don't have in front of you right now, it's yeah, just a moment. Yes. But what we've done is here's ways that we can strategically to help lower the outlay from year one. So you have some vehicles that are like 26 years, right? That currently we, we can put a value on those vehicles, and you're looking at anywhere from 15 to 24 thousand dollars on those vehicles because of the low mileage rates on those vehicles. So if I just grab one of those vehicles and I and I inputted that as one of the replacements, instead of your first year budget being 37,000, take 20,000 off of that, now you're looking at about 17,000, right? Um, so there's different ways we can create strategies. Which is why I would like to continue conversations with Ms. McKinney, take a look at both separate amount, look at the fleet, and create individual strategies and be able to come back in a workshop setting and be able to present that to you so we can kind of discuss and see kind of what makes sense. Um, because other than that, the accounts created, we're good to go. It's just about how many vehicles are we going to move forward with for the first 12 months. I'd definitely like to be able to meet with that because I mean, I'd like to take 100% of what the county has, divide that by four, sure. but then also take into account the vehicles that are at the highest resale value, equate those into those years, and then get the best bank for our yeah. for, for, for the county. But, I mean, I know we have a 2007, 2007 truck in, in the road farm right now, a Chevy Silverado. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. 